Let us learn how to find out the level of output where a firm breaks even and maximizes profit. The question is, given demand and average cost function of a firm is 2Q plus P is equal to 25, Q denotes the output, P is the price and average cost is being given as 32 upon Q plus 5. We are being told to find out uh, the profit function for the firm and the level of output where the firm breaks even and the level of output where it maximizes profit okay so let's do it one by one so what we are being given we are being given the demand function is 2q 2q uh, plus p is equal to 25 given this demand function we solve it for p that means we find out the inverse demand function so p will be equal to transposing 2q here it will get subtracted so we will get 25 minus 2q okay so i have just uh, you know uh, rewritten this given demand function in terms of this inverse demand function okay also we are being told that the average cost function is being given as is average cost is being given as is 32 upon q plus 5 okay so first we have to find out the profit function what is the profit of a firm profit is simply equal to the total revenue of a firm minus the total cost of the firm okay so and we know that total revenue is simply equal to the price into output gives us total revenue okay minus the total cost this will be the profit function for the firm so we have to find out the total revenue first and how do we calculate total revenue then so as we know total revenue total revenue is equal to price into output that is p into q and we have solved the given demand function for p so in place of p we can write 25 minus 2q to this we multiply by q okay so total revenue function will be so total revenue will be equal to 25 q multiplying this q to each of these terms so it will become 25 q minus 2q square this is the total revenue function similarly we need to find out the total cost okay average cost is being given if average cost is this what will be the total cost total cost as we know is simply equal to average cost times output which is q so multiplying this average cost function so average cost is 32 upon q plus 5 to this we multiply by q to find out the average sorry total cost so total cost will be equal to so multiplying q to each of these terms it will become 32 upon q into q plus 5 into q okay so here q and q will get cancelled so total cost function for the firm is equal to 32 plus 5 q now we know that profit for the firm profit is equal to profit is equal to total revenue total revenue minus total cost okay and total revenue we calculate it as 25 q 25 q uh, minus 2 q square to this we subtract the total cost function which is this function 32 plus 5q okay solving this again we will get 25q minus 2q square uh, this minus is multiplied to each of these terms it will become minus 32 minus 5q okay so our profit function will be equal to so 25q minus 5q comes out to be uh, 20q then we have minus 2q square minus 2q square then we have minus 32 okay this is the profit function for the firm now the next question tells us find out the output level where the firm breaks even now what is the break even point of a firm so let's write it here 
break even break even point for the firm is a point where profit of a firm are equal to zero okay so at break even total profit for the firm are equal to zero since this is a profit function we equate it with zero to find out the output level where the firm breaks even that means uh, 20 q 20 q minus 2 q square minus 32 okay we equate it equal to rather we equate it with zero okay now uh, solving this uh, equation and let us solve this first since this is the quadratic uh, you, you know equation we write it in into the standard quadratic function that is first we write the highest variable uh, you know exponent that very term in which we have the highest uh, you know power of the variable which is minus 2 q square then we write it in ascending order then the next will be plus 20 q okay since the power is here 2 then power is 1 of q then we have minus 32 we said it equal to 0 what will we do simply dividing both sides by minus 2 we will get q square uh, minus 20 q sorry uh, 20 upon q is 20 q or let me explain it further so we have minus 2 q square plus 20 q minus 32 is equal to 0 first we multiply both sides by minus 1 so we will get 2 q square 2 q square uh, minus uh, 20 q plus 32 okay is equal to 0 and then we divide it by uh, 2 because we need to uh, you know we need uh, the coefficient of q square to be 1 so we divide both sides by 2 we will get here q square here uh, 20 divided by 2 is minus 10 q uh, here we have 32 upon 2 is 16 okay and we set it equal to 0 since this is a quadratic function we can solve it by separating the middle term that is the sum of two numbers should be equal to the coefficient of the middle term which is minus 10 and the product of the same two numbers should be equal to the constant term which is equal to 16 and by some you know trial and error we can you know guess this very simply if i write here minus 8 and minus 2 so minus 8 plus minus 2 is minus 10 and minus 8 into minus 2 is equal to 16 so i can write this uh, quadratic function is q square in place of minus 10 i will write minus 8 q and minus 2 q and in place of 16 i can write minus 8 into minus 2 okay now we set it equal to 0 here so let us uh, put it equal to 0 solving for uh, let us uh, take q common in the first uh, two terms so we will get q uh, we are left with q minus 8 then we take here we have minus also so let's take minus 2 uh, common from the last two terms we will get q minus 8 is equal to 0 now let's take q minus 8 common q minus 8 common so we are left with q minus 2 and we set it equal to 0 which implies either q minus 8 is equal to 0 or q minus 2 is equal to 0 which implies if q minus 8 is equal to 0 that means q is equal to plus 8 transposing this uh, it will become plus 8 and similarly when q minus 2 is equal to 0 it implies q is equal to plus 2 okay so we got two levels of output uh, that is the output level when q is equal to 8 and output level when q is equal to 2 where the firm breaks even graphically what exactly is meant by this thing it simply means if we have this function here we have uh, you know output on the horizontal axis and we have uh, what we call uh, you know um, total revenue and total cost function on the horizontal sorry vertical axis so what is our total revenue function this is our total revenue function it will look like this okay this is our total revenue function 
and what is our total cost function total cost function which have which has 32 as the uh, you know this vertical intercept and phi as a slope so it will look like this so we got this is our total cost function there are two pointers this point and this point when output level is 2 when the firm breaks even and when output level is 8 when the firm breaks even when the firm produces two units of output uh, the firm breaks even that means it makes zero properties and also when the firm uh, you know produces eight units it all at that very point also it makes zero profit okay so this was about the uh, breaking even now next part is to find out the level of output where it maximizes profit okay so for profit maximization for profit maximization we should satisfy two conditions first we call the first order condition first order condition tells us for profit maximization that the derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to zero that means first order condition tells us that the marginal profit should be equal to zero marginal profit is simply the derivative of profit function with respect to output mm, what where is our profit function so this is our profit function okay its derivative with respect to q if i take the derivative of this function with respect to q derivative of q will be 1 so we are left with 20 uh, derivative of q square is 2q so 2 into 2 is minus 4 okay uh, q and derivative of a constant we know is equal to 0 okay and we set it equal to 0 solving for q so we will get 4q is equal to 20 dividing both sides by 4 we will get q is equal to 5 okay so it simply tells us that when the firm produces 5 units of output it maximizes profit okay now this is only the necessary condition what is the sufficient condition that is we need to find out the second order condition so second order condition for profit maximization requires that the second derivative of profit function with respect to output should be less than zero okay when we evaluate that very function at the critical point when q is equal to 5 so <clears throat> this is the first derivative okay that is and let me write it here d pi upon dq is equal to 20 minus 4q this is the first derivative now what is the second derivative that is d square pi upon dq square okay so if this is the first derivative the derivative of the first derivative is the second derivative now derivative of a constant is 0 derivative of q will be 1 so we are left with minus 4 since minus 4 is less than 0 both the conditions are set, uh, satisfied that is first order condition is that marginal profit should be equal to zero and second order condition tells us that the second derivative of profit function should be less than zero it simply shows us the slope of the marginal profit function here and it should be less than zero so the firm maximizes profit when it produces five units of output okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you